every single student at ARC Alexandra has been issued a Chromebook. And we've been using a variety of tools to help them with their online learning and in particular their homework. So on our school website, if you go to www.alexandra.org, you'll find all of our tabs which signpost the homework tasks and where they can log in to access their homework resources. The digital strategy page then gives you much more detail and it outlines the expectations of the use of the Chromebook, your responsibilities, your students' responsibility and our responsibility. So the Chromebook has been designed to access all of our online platforms and also to allow students, if they need to, access online learning at home, whether that be hybrid, face-to-face um, -face with a teacher, or if it's just the setting of work using the platforms. So we generally use MS Teams if we are going to be using online learning. So we have a number of documents that outline our policies. An explanation of meeting your device. Some of our students come to us and say, we're struggling with the use of device. Uh, it's not loading, it's a little slow. Sometimes that's a matter of closing down caches and reducing the memory use and ensuring the device is fully charged. We find that once that's done, it usually eases things up. We then have a number of digital internet learning tools. Now our main learning tools now are MS Teams, Seneca and Spark. So Spark has been used primarily by maths and you would have had tutoring sessions on how to use Spark for um, the maths. Seneca is what I'm going to discuss. So Seneca is a platform that is adaptive. So I have a how-to guide for students. This will go live tomorrow for parents as well. So there's a how to create a parent account link and there's a video. The video is really simple and it gives you... <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> Check. I know the next one works. So actually it does work. It's because of the linking. This tells you precisely what to do to create your own link to Seneca and it allows you to also make a link to your child's account. So there's another page that helps you and in a moment I'm going to go through that. I've done some screen prints for you to see. Let's see if this one works. I told you the video works. Right? So it's a really simple step-by-step -step guide Sorry, it shows both my accounts. And this is Ben. And Ben's our liaison at Seneca. And it basically allows you to access and see how to link the account. There's four steps. You create an account. You can use a Google or a Microsoft account for that. You set up yourself as a parent and then you click connect your child's account. You need to copy your unique parent ID um, either email or WhatsApp and share it with your child and then when that link is confirmed you then are linked up to your child's account. That means you can see the homework they're setting, you can see their scores and you can see if they've missed a deadline or where they're working towards, what are the gaps on their knowledge. Seneca is adaptive. Right? That means it learns the knowledge that your child is struggling with. So, this is the child's login, right? So, student login, if I go here, this is what it looks like. It has me in it at the moment. So, I'm going to log in. And these are my classes. So, if you were a child, you would see the student platform. Now, if the child is logged in, they go to their classes and assignments and all their classes are listed, already synced up with any assignments set by a teacher. So if we were to look at a course, say 11 plus maths, this is what it looks like. So it's video, audio, 
they read through the material they can't set continue and they answer set questions and then it'll give them a score if they're not 100 percent correct what it does it will adapt and go back to that style of question that technique and retest your child is also able to reset and redo the tasks up to three times the teacher then can choose their best score over the three or their first attempt score the advantage of Seneca learning if your child misses the assignment or does not achieve a set standard so for instance in GCC religious studies we expect 80 percent we ask them to redo we can reset the task so generally we ask them to continue with Microsoft however we have a number of students that use Seneca when we were using it as a free access website a year or two year, uh, years ago in the first lockdown today that would mean they would then continue with Google then they enter their school email and password it remembers it there is no more need to sign in it's done every time they go into the app on either their phone or to the website it recognizes their login You'll then be shown the Seneca home screen as I showed you. See, you can see the pictures of my home screen <laughs> for my subject. Classes and assignments. You'll now see your classes and assignments. Click the upcoming assignment or past assignments. If a task has not been completed on time, you'll only have a limited time to complete the task before you can no longer access it. It's usually around two weeks. If the two weeks goes over you can ask your teacher to identify you as an individual to reset so it's that personalized that we can personalize for individual students it also means we can personally set students who are absent due to illness work or if we have a student that is on a reset or extended isolation we can set them work via this platform All subjects are being asked to use this. Maths, however, are using Spark, um, and that's useful for them, and it has the same kind of program. 